I'm Mr. Do Right, and here's a Do Right Diddy. I was I wasn't gonna do it, but man, this it rubbed me so wrong that I just got to say it. So we were at the graduation ceremony, sitting in the auditorium. Well, it was a gym, you know, a college basketball arena, basically, and we were waiting for the graduation to start. So. It started up, and they announced the graduates, and they came walking out to take their seats. Now, I'm up with some family members, and we, you know, we all sitting together. So when they came out, everybody stood up. Now, I had this lady sitting next to me, and they had these people sitting in front of us. Now, I don't know if you know, but I'm black. And the people that were sitting with me, they were black also. The family that was sitting in front of us was white. Okay? The whole thing is done. The whole picture is painted for you. Now, as I was saying, the students were coming out. Everybody stood up. And this little girl right in front of us, she was with her family, dad, mom, four little girls, the youngest, the one with the sign, she was, I don't know, maybe five, six at the most, maybe, maybe younger, eh, I don't know, then various ages. So when they stood up, little girl had a sign with them, I don't know, about yay big, and she was raising it up and, and shaking it. Well, this lady on the side of me says, hey, put that sign down. What's wrong with you? And I was like, I'm like, what? I'm like, calm down. That's just a little girl, you know? So she scared the bejesus out of that little girl. That little girl jumped so high she could have slammed dunk. And I felt bad. I'm like, man, it's just a little girl. You know, it's a sign. Who cares? So... Little girl was scared. She went and told her mom. Mom said, who who told you? To, who was yelling at you and stuff? And she's like, mom, the lady right there. So the little lady, of course, you can't sit up here and yell at nobody's kids and think their parents ain't going to get hostile with you, right? Ask yourself, would you not get hostile? Yeah. Now, I ain't saying you're going to fight, but you ain't finna let nobody talk crazy to your child. Just that's the way of the world. So lady turns around and said, ma'am, if you have something to say to my child, tell me, and I will correct her. But don't yell at my child. Then she says, well, young child sitting up here holding up signs and all kind of stuff, and I can't see. She needs to send her butt down somewhere. I'm like, what the hell? So they had some back and forth, because nothing they said was really important at that point. But then it finally calmed down. I was like, at least that's over with. You see, I don't like stuff like that, especially when it's right next to me. Because then you put me in that ignorance, and I don't like that. That's that's just ignorance. But anyway, moving on. So now, the students are going up to get their diplomas. They calling these kids' name, and they walking up there. Thank you very much. Wait for the picture, and walk back down. So we into this about an hour or so, and... You can see the little girls clamoring around getting things ready. So whoever they there to, to cheer on is getting ready to come on stage and get their diploma. I've seen this. And I'm saying to myself, man, I hope we're not going to have another scene. So I see the little girl getting ready. She's getting the sign ready and everything. And I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. So they called the name and they jumped up. Little girl had her sign. She was smiling, happy as could be. She puts up the sign, and this woman is getting ready to say, Hey, didn't I tell you? And as soon as she said that, I said, Would you leave that little girl alone? She ain't doing nothing to you. She is not hurting you or doing anything else. All this little girl is doing is cheering on her family member or whoever it is. Now, who are you? To stop her from doing that. Oof. I was heated. Because, man, that's, 
that, you know, I'm just going to say it. That's that bullshit I don't like. You know, but wait a minute. Because I, I, I got to tell you the, the next part because then you really understand why I'm upset. So then she says, oh, so what, you side with those white folks? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I'm sorry about that F-bomb, but that I was I was so livid at that moment. I couldn't believe that. I said, it's because of you is why the world is in, in the state it's in right now. I said, people don't have no empathy or anything else for anybody else. You can do whatever the hell you want, but nobody else can do what they want. You know, and they better not tell you nothing or you ready to fight. And I thought that was the worst thing in the world. And I felt so bad for them people down there because they didn't deserve that. And you see, I keep saying people, right? Because I don't believe in that white folk, black folk bullshit. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. And you're not going to sit here and do that bullshit around me. I don't care. I don't want to be associated with that. And I was embarrassed that that went down. It did. It was uncalled for. Not to mention you sitting up here yelling at a little child. It was nonsense. And I, it, oh, it, 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 oh, it drove me nuts. I mean, you, you ever? I don't know. I ain't never been shot at, but I can imagine if I ever got shot at, I would probably feel the exact same way that I did that day, because I went there for a joyous occasion to see my son walk across the stage. And now I'm discombobulated because this fool sitting up here, and, and I don't know why black people think they can't be racist, but that is racist. Why can't we just accept people for being people? Look, if somebody doing stupid, it's because they stupid. Not because they black or white or any other race. They stupid. People walking on the flag, they stupid. Don't don't put the whole black community involved in that shit. They stupid. Call them stupid. Call them disrespectful. Call them whatever, but it ain't got shit to do with being black. Man, I I I, I debated with myself on whether or not I should say that, but I, I had to say it because. It's been bugging me. You know, I see stuff on Facebook, and I don't want to say something, but, man, I try to pick my battles. You can't battle nobody on Facebook. You can't be logical or anything else on Facebook. That, all that's just white noise. That's all that is. But if it's right in front of me, I can't deal with that. I'm not going to deal with that, and I'm not going to accept that. Now, with that said, later on, the subject was brought up with some individuals. And I asked the question, I said, well, hey, what was the deal with that? And they said, well, was that your business? And I'm like, was that my business? Why would that not be my business? I'm sitting right next to her and she does that. She put me in that. Yeah, that's my business. Somebody being ugly to somebody else for no reason yeah, that's my business. I'm not going to stand by and watch somebody get berated or anything else and I can do something about it. If I got air in my lungs, I'm going to do something about it. Funk that. You know what? This is what kills me. You got kids at school being bullied, but nobody wants to do anything because that's not their business. People getting their ass whooped in the streets and nobody do nothing because that's not their business. But you on Facebook and everything else and on the news worrying about the Kardashians. You all innate shit, but that's your business. You worrying about some politician that's sleeping with somebody. That's your business. You worrying about this, this dude changing his sex. That's your business. But somebody that actually needs help is not your business. And I, at that point, I said, you know what? I am totally and utterly done with these people. Bad association spoils useful habits. That's for real. That's for real. Oh. And now I am disassociating myself with that that nonsense, that ignorance, and everything else. Man. Man. So, it, it, it's funny. Oh, 
these people are keeping us down. And then what you do? You do stupid stuff to them to, to continue the cycle. Because you know what was going through my mind when I was sitting there? I said that little girl probably never even thought about race ever. You know, it's a possibility she was young enough that race was not even a, 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 a blip on her radar, right? But now, this black woman, who's being ignorant to her, has planted that seed down the line. Now we keep this damn cycle going. Reaping the harvest. Oh, look, I'm sitting up here preaching. Let me just get off of here. I, I had to get that off my chest because that really rubbed me the wrong way. And I know I didn't put my life on the line. And I know y'all didn't put y'all life on the line for ignorance like that. I believe in people's rights. And I believe in people's anti-rights. And I don't like anybody that sits here and try to impose their will on somebody that don't need it. I'm, that's just me. I, that's just me. I mean, come on, man. Come on.